Creatures and people united as one. Previously at Fairview High. Amon elected to become a student teacher under the condition that he would keep the chaos on a down low. Greg then took the opportunity to get to know him a little better, in spite being told not to get close to such a loose cannon. At the school! Hello kids and welcome to another day at Fairview High. We have a busy day, so I hope you're ready. There have been a few changes around here, leadership-wise, that you all need to be aware of. Mr. Babble will no longer be a forefront teacher, but will be functioning from behind the scenes here at the school. This means you'll rarely be seeing him, but don't you worry. <laughs> he can still see you. In a good way, of course. Um, so is he like a spy now or something? Why would we need more security? Did something bad happen? Don't you worry your pretty little head off about it because I'm going to be the new school principal. I'm working on filling my own slot because, well, heck, a student teacher and an actual teacher are two very different things. So are we getting a new teacher then? Yes, Greg, there will be a brand new but highly trained teacher coming in next year. Moving on. Now, some of you have been asking where Elian is lately. Well, I can't tell you where he is per se, but I can tell you that he will be back in time. Well, he only told me that he had to go on a journey of some sort. I don't suppose you know exactly when he'll be back, do you? No, Andrew, I don't know the exact day he'll be back, but he will be back eventually. I guess I can't really complain. He put me in charge of his house and his horses. It's quite lovely there where he lives. Where I'm staying, I mean. Well, there you see, everybody wins. I suppose you're right. Save your questions because today Mark and our new student teacher, Amon, will be leading a class discussion about the events that have taken place this year. I know you kids have seen a lot and have really grown. So they'll be answering any questions that you may have about the things you've learned this year. Man, are we going to have a pop quiz or something? That's up to them, Nick. But keep your pants on because I have one more thing to say. Kirsten, will you please come to the front of the class? Sure thing, but let's make this fast. My baby is hungry, hence my leaking shirt. I gotta get back home to Fred because I didn't make a bottle of breast milk. Then I'll make this short and sweet. Congratulations, Kirsten. You have graduated from Fairview High. Here's your diploma. <laughs> singing the graduation song. You're afraid to leave now, Kirsten. Oh, good. <laughs> Bye, everyone. It's been fun. Wait, Kirsten, do you want to have a graduation party at my house? My mom is like, never home. She's doing some kind of top secret mission that she won't even tell me about. No, Kirsten needs to leave. Kirsten, get out. I'm going, I'm going. Sheesh. <laughs> Thanks, Amanda. But I have to watch baby Vincent round the clock since he's still a newborn. Bye, Kirsten. Bye, Markifer. Hey, uh, Mr. Witt, aren't you gonna graduate me today too? Oh yes, about that. I do not believe you are ready to graduate there, Mr. Ryan O'Brien. What, are you serious? Indeed I am. Oh man. Does this mean I have to wait another freaking year? That's highly likely, yes. Wow, that sucks so bad it's not even funny. You'll be better equipped to take on the real world in a year, Ryan. Mark, where is Amon? Um, I think he's outside. He likes to walk around the school. I'm gonna go get him. You may now start the class discussion. Uh, so, kids, I've, um, 
never led one of these before. Does anyone have anything they want to talk about? Any questions about the school or something that happened at the school? Because if not, I was thinking we could play Duck Duck Goose outside. Are you for real? <laughs> that game's legit. I know, right? <laughs> That's one vote from Nick for Duck Duck Goose. Two votes counting me. I have a question. I might have an answer. <laughs> Why do they tell us to go to lunch when there's no food in the cafeteria? Hmm? I think you're supposed to bring your own lunch. Next. When are we going to have another school dance? I have no idea. What about another party? You could have a party at your mansion, Mary Jane. Invite me. I like the free food. <laughs> Consider it done. Say! I got a question, too! Ask away, Melissa. Are they not going to graduate me either? Because I thought I was ready! That's up to Mr. Witt. I actually have no authority over that, Melissa. Ha! Ah, dog apples! I'm into that. I'm into that. All right, who else has another question for this here microfer? Man, I got a question. How come we never do, like, math and stuff here at this school? Because it's a social expansion school. You're supposed to expand your social horizons. But how are we going to get into college without those subjects? Oh, please. Anyone can get into college these days. Anybody else? Oh, hey, Amon is here. Sup, bro? Okay, good, because I have a question for him. Good, because he has an answer for you, Greg. So... I keep hearing this phrase, Auntie Annie, from randos here at the school. What's an Auntie Annie? And why do I get the feeling that you know all about this stuff, Amon? They are an evil organization, the Auntie Annies. What does that mean, though, Auntie Annie? Is there not a student here in the class who knows the meaning of the phrase? Honor the answer. But, perhaps you still think me to be too mediocre to respond. Was that directed towards me? Oh, now you go get it, Andrew! I may only be an inner chant and you an Annie boy, but I still happen to know the answer to his question. Settle down. I have nothing against inner chants. What even makes you think I find you mediocre? You said so yourself. At camp. Don't you remember? Not really. But I have been known to be a little cocky. So, my apologies, in a chant. Didn't expect that. You've changed a bit, it seems. It also seems I have underestimated those aware of my reputation. If you know what an Auntie Annie is, then you must have confronted one before. Maybe a few times? That will no longer happen as long as I am here. Well, I suppose that's reassuring. Well, then, Greg. An Auntie Annie is someone who has joined a rather foolish petition to rid the world of the Anipoi race. It's really a waste of the time because Anipoi are quite powerful and nearly impossible to defeat. Can they do magical spells like you? It's hard to explain. Amon here is an Anipoi. Yeah, I've seen him do some cray cray shiz, y'all. Me too, Nick. Like, get drunk and then get over it in like two minutes. Nah, Mark, I mean like that one time when we was at camp and he like blew up a tree or something. It was cray. That's not very nice to the environment. You are mistaken. That was a lightning bolt that hit that tree. But I find it interesting that you and the inner remember these things. You would be amazed at how most people disregard the supernatural. So you're some kind of a sorcerer? Not at all. These powers are my own. I do not manipulate nature to bend to my will. Lightning is simply attracted to me and I benefit from that attraction. They're called beams, Lindsay. Light beams, that is. Like a form of radiation and quite dangerous. I can only do very little with them as of now. That is correct, inner chant. Wow, Rat Smithers! I didn't know you were so educated. Why do you call me Rat Smithers, Mark? Um, because it's awesome. Okay, wait, Mr. Amon. <laughs> Mr. Amon, that's almost as great as Mr. Mark. <laughs> I thought you were some sort of Egyptian pharaoh. That's kind of what your buddy Andrew told me at Nick's party. He doesn't sound Egyptian. Yeah, where are you from, Amon? Because I can't figure out that accent. I always thought you were Jamaican, Amon. I bet I can guess where he's from. 
That is a conversation for another day in a chant. Fair enough. And as for the rest of you, your speculations are entertaining, but I do not recommend pondering my origins. In regards to the comment about my being royalty, I suppose that is accurate to some people. <laughs> so you are a celebrity. <laughs> I knew it. That is the last thing I wish to be. I have another question. 10 participation points for Greg. Now, if only I had a grade book. What's that headboard at Mila's house? And how come Ruff and Mark have to keep going down there in that basement? Don't ask me. I painted the walls and mopped the floor. I don't know anything. All that you need to know about that machine is that it is a communication device that now belongs to the school. Yeah, but it's creepy. Greg, it's really not so bad down there anymore. We redid the whole basement. And I don't know why you think it's creepy all of a sudden because we found you playing your guitar down there that one time. Well, the basement's not creepy. It's just the idea of living in a house with some freaky headboard that Mila used to talk to aliens before she died kind of rubs me the wrong way. Okay, what the heck is Greg talking about? The house I live in. It's owned by the school. You've never been there before, Mary Jane, but it's weird. Okay, what's so creepy and weird about it, Greg? See, I live in one of the bedrooms. There's this weird basement under my room, and it has this freaky headboard that looks like something out of a space movie or something, like something an alien DJ would use in a rave. That sounds kind of cool to me. Yeah, well, it's not. It's weird. And not to go on a rabbit trail, but Fred moved out with his cat, which made Guido sad because he used to cuddle with the cat when I wasn't home. Now he's all alone, all day, and Guido ain't no disc jockey, okay? Do not worry about that device. It is of no harm to you. Think of it as a security system. Is that what it is, though? A security system? It is now. Why? Because you say it is? You're not selling me on this. It is because Kaj made it that way. There is no one more trustworthy. So you've talked to Kaj then? Is he okay? Do not expect me to tell you anything about Kaj. But I just want to know if he's okay. Uh, we all kind of do, Amon. Do you know where he is? I do not. And even if I did, it would be of no concern to you. But it does concern me. Then you have concerned yourself with someone you should not have invested yourself in. <sighs> If you knew him the way I do, you wouldn't think that. So you don't know anything at all about him right now? Nothing that you need to know. But is he okay? That's all I want to hear, is that he's okay. Then you will sadly not be getting your way. Okay, then tell me the truth. Is he hurt? You think that your prying is for his benefit, but privacy is what is best for him. How do you know what's best for him? Oh, no, she didn't! Catfight! Uh-oh! Greg, shut up! God! You are a strange little girl with no sense of who your authority figures are. I appreciate your spark, but do not expect another word about Kaj from me. Well, then at least tell me what an alternate is, because no one has been able to explain it to me, and I'd like to know. Very well. I will explain it to you thoroughly so that no more questions shall be asked. Thank you. An alternate is an anipoi with a very high tolerance for pain. They are extremely rare and have the ability to receive powers like mine into their own body for healing purposes. You would be so lucky to come across one in your lifetime because when death puts one to sleep, his age will remain suspended until he awakes, sometimes decades later. Alternates lose many of their memories while they sleep. Although, considering the violence they endure, perhaps not remembering is for the better. Oh. I guess... I guess that makes sense when I put it all together. Then that answer must pacify you. It does, and it kind of makes me feel better, just in kind of a sad way. I don't know. There was something kind of biased about that story to me. Hey, guys. How about we talk about the school, huh? Anybody interested in starting a club or something? Clubs are lame. You're lame. I know you are, but what am I? Amanda, what you talking about? Clubs are cool. 
yeah, maybe if we had more people here. There's not even 20 people in this class. There's not even 20 people in this school. Mary Jane's right. Why do we have class in such a big building when we're the only students here? Are there other people here that we just don't see? Not that I'm aware of. I know, Amanda. That's just plain suspicious. Okay, I'm back. Here's your diploma, Melissa. Oh, hey, all right! All right, now, have a nice life. You're excused. Congratulations, Melissa. Thanks a freaking million, Lindsay McFinzy. If that's even your real name. Um, it's not even close. That's what I thought. See you around, guys. Okay, kids, continue. I'll be in my office. Boy, graduating from Fairview sure is anticlimactic. Well, actually, Greg, if you graduate with an A, it's not. Remember when I graduated? They had you guys throw me a party. You know, like they did with Fred. Psh, Fred. I'm so glad he finally moved out. Guido, on the other hand, is bummed. Like I said before, Fred's cat was Guido's best friend. I think he liked her better than he liked me. <laughs> I'm sure that's not how the cat felt. No, she liked him. I seriously used to find them cuddling on the couch. Aw, that's so cute. Yeah, it really is. What can I say? I know how to pick them. Kids, do you want to like play outside on the playground or something? It smells like a fart in here. Big time. Yes, God, please. And not just a fart, a sour fart. Sick, man, that's so gross. <sighs> you know, your strong reaction to me pointing it out makes me think it was you, Ryan. What? No way. For real, though. Are we going to play a game outside like freeze tag or something? Yeah, that's a good idea, Nick. Hey, kids, okay, go play freeze tag. I'll be the captain of Team Markerfer, and Nick, you be the captain of Team Nicholas. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, Ryan, you on my team even though you fought it. Oh, nice. I'm pick first. I must be popular. And hey, that wasn't me. Dude, you're only competing with like eight people. Mark, I want to be on Team Markerfer. Your wish is my command, Gregory. I don't think we have enough people to play this game, plus... I'm not wearing the right shoes. Then you could be on Nick's team. All right, everybody on the playground, let's move. Do you not think you are all a bit too old to be playing children's games? You have to be on my team, Amon. <laughs> Let me have my own team and I am sure I will triumph against all of you. Just for that, I'm making you the referee. Andrew, you're on team Markifer. What is this game again? Freeze tag, you said. Is someone going to show me how to play? Ah, you'll figure it out. Yo, Marcia, you on team Nicholas. Sounds good to me, Nick. Um, hello! How come all the team leaders are guys? Because that's life. Amanda, you're on my team. What team am I gonna be on? Mary Jane, you just said you didn't even want to play. I choose you, Lindsay. My team is done. Mary Jane, you're on Team Markifer. Holy crap, is this the whole class? Did everyone even come to school today? I know, I feel like we're missing some people. That's because two people just graduated and Mandred left and Sami left Mila died, and like, nobody knows what happened to Ruff. Plus, Mr. Babble is like, hiding in the walls or something. <laughs> Does this game have something to do with it being cold outside today? Nah, but once you start running around, you'll warm up. Or we'll catch a horrible cold. No, we'll be sweating by the time we're done. It's true, Mary Jane. And girl, those shoes will work. They're boots, yo. I know, I just don't want them to get wet. They're kind of thin. Okay, well just deal with it, Mary Jane, because you're going to play freeze tag. If I get sick, I'm not coming to school tomorrow. Then you'll get an F, which let's be honest, Mary Jane, you can't afford another failing grade. I'm failing? Wait, what? You can wear my sweater if you want, Mary Jane. Aw, uh, Amanda, that's way too nice of you. Keep your sweater. She's gonna wear my hoodie because I know I'm not gonna need it. Cool, thanks, Mark. How come we have a playground when we're all high school kids? Because the teachers believe that kids of all ages deserve a playground. Oh yeah? Well, how come we have lockers, but we never use them? Good question, Greg. I've been wondering that too, actually. Yeah, we have lockers. I didn't even notice. I'm sure the teachers are using them for something. Oh my gosh. What if there are like weapons in there? Don't say that. What? You know it might be true. That would be terrible if it is. Okay, so maybe I'm wrong. I've unlocked them before and the ones I've opened have all been empty. They're off limits, just so you know, Andrew. Sorry, I was rather bored that day and wanted to test my powers. All right, everybody outside, let's move. Come on, come on, let's go, kids. Freeze tag, duck, duck, goose. That's what I'm talking about. Team Markifer and Team Nicholas, booyah! End of episode 20. Fail!
love you. I